I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat. Pain is good, people. It's not just a hot sauce. This is pain is good. This is our habanero hot sauce. Sorry for the shadow, but here we are. Very, very cool. Um, I'm excited to do this. Pepper season's coming, people. Listen, it's going to be here soon, before you know it. And when it happens, I'll be hurting myself multiple times a day for your pleasure and enjoyment uh, with a lot of great new pods, a lot of the great same pods from previous years that are going to always be hotter. Each year they get hotter. But they aren't here quite yet. So for today, I've got pain is good. Habanero hot sauce. Uh, you know what they've done? Let me tell you. They've added carrots, mustard, and garlic uh, to balance the flavor of the spicy and slightly fruity habanero peppers in this classic hot sauce. The result is a delicious fiery hot sauce. You will want to serve with every meal and they wouldn't say it if it wasn't true manufactured and distributed by spice and foods kind of cool mm -mm -mm. all right so let's see the ingredients we have uh distilled vinegar habanero peppers water mustard uh which is water and mustard excuse me uh mustard is water and vinegar and mustard seed salt turmeric and spices we also have uh, carrots, which is carrot, uh, water, and calcium chloride. We have garlic, we have salt, we have onion. Uh, excuse me, we have onion powder. We have xanthan gun. Uh, uh, we also have azorbic acid and turmeric. So there we have it. Mm. Listen, there are no artificial colors, there's no artificial flavors, there's no artificial preservatives, and there's no high fructose corn syrup, which I'll tell you, if you go outside, get a big, big breath of air, <clears throat> there's some high fructose corn syrup in there. It is everything. Give me just a second. There's got to be a seam on this thing somewhere. There we go. Fear not, for I have it. It's a beautiful color sauce. It really is. You're getting the viscosity from that, but I have some interesting trivia we're going to go over today. Ordinary people, just common everyday ordinary people like you and me, that found extraordinary things. God, that sounds cool, isn't it? I think it does. All right, we'll do the aroma test before we do anything. Definitely picking up the mustard is a dominant aroma. You won't miss that. Uh, certainly pick up the vinegar, the garlic, maybe even the cumin a little bit in the, in the aroma. Whew. Salivating. Pavlov's dogs here. You know why pain is good? I didn't think I was going to get through the whole video without talking about pain a little bit. Um, if you've watched the channel a bunch, you're like, ah, oh, this old chestnut. Here I go again. Was this? this one here? I got a scar in my eyebrow. There it is. See that? You know why that's there? To remind me that what happened that day, that was real. 
No two ways about it. I don't feel it anymore, but that was real. That's what scars do. They remind you that an event that happened did happen. <clears throat> pain, however, what pain does is that pain tells you that you're still alive. For that, pain is very, very good. I'm fond of it. I'm sorry. You know, it is what it is. I don't want you to be in pain, but I like it. Here's the four people. Pretty soon, don't worry, peppers will be coming soon. But for right now, oh, I'm excited about this. All right, beautiful color. All right, so pain is good, people. They're habanero sauce. I'm Johnny Scoville. Is that the thumbnail? No idea, but this is Chase the Heat. You know what's interesting? You know, habanero peppers is the second ingredient. But I will tell you what. A lot of times you'll get habaneros. I have. Hear this right here? It's a different habanero, uh, habanero sauce. Habanero sauces are pretty common. And, and you, sometimes you'll get the flavor, which is great. But rarely do you get the sting. You'll get a burn, but this has the sting <clears throat> of a fresh habanero pepper. It doesn't have the burn of the habanero sauce that you normally get. It has kind of like that fresh pepper sting. It really does. There's that immediate little sting you get. Flavor's great. A little bit of the garlic. The vinegar kind of, I mean, it's a vinegar-based sauce, but kind of holds all the flavor. It's a vehicle that brings all those flavors to you. The cumin, the garlic, the carrots, you know. I need more. More pain. See what I did there? Closing in on 5,700 videos. How many times have you ever, in 5,000 videos, ever seen me prepared? Great sauce. I like that sauce. That's not a joke. That's a flavorful sauce. Um, let's talk about the heat, shall we? Three feet away, I missed it. Big barrel, I missed it. All right, so uh, the heat, if you're not a chili head, even though it's only, I shouldn't say only, but even though it's it's merely a uh, habanero, um, well, because a lot of times habanero sauces are, are pretty doable. This is a pretty spicy sauce. So if you're not a chili head, <laughs> You wouldn't appreciate the flavors. You wouldn't pick up the flavors I'm tasting. You just wouldn't. It'd be a bummer. If you are a chili head, however, uh, that's going to be a four or five, maybe. You'll have chili heads that will call it a three. Some hardcore chili heads that will say, ah, it's a three. Um, but probably four and up. But super flavorful. Mm. I like the sauce. Pain is good. Are you ready for some really cool trivia? I think this is cool stuff. I'm not sure if I'll get all of them done in this video. I might save some. Okay, ready for this? A kid playing hide and seek <clears throat> literally stumbled over a stego mastodon skull. No joke. Listen. Nine-year-old uh, Jude Sparks tripped over a 1.2 million-year-old fossil while looking for a good place to hide. 
from his older brother during a uh, hike in Las Cruces, New Mexico. While running, he kicked the tusk. And then face planted next to the jawbone uh, of what he figured was a giant elephant. <clears throat> Isn't that cool? Nine and a half year old or a nine year old. All right, so an, inc an incredibly rare chess piece was found in a drawer in Scotland. Okay. The medieval, medieval chess piece, one of, a, one of the long lost Lewis chess men had been gathering dust in a drawer for over 55 years before the family thought to have it assessed. Apparently, their grandfather had purchased it in, six, in 1964 for five sterling pounds and had no idea of the cultural importance or its million-dollar value. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there is said chess piece. Pretty cool, people. An Egyptian man digging in his yard found a secret passage to a great pyramid. How about that? Of course, it wasn't like he was digging, digging it up in Brooklyn. He was in Egypt, so, you know, it's not that crazy. Anyway, let me go on. The man came up uh, or came across a corridor made of stone blocks while doing some amateur excavation. By the way, it was illegal excavation because it said so. Illegal excavation. Shame on you, dude. Uh, anyway, officials determined that the corridor was the Pyramid of Khufu's legendary causeway, which archaeologists uh, have been trying to find for decades. So he's cursed now. He's probably not. Yeah, sounds good. The construction workers digging a sewer found an ancient, an ancient temple. Again, didn't happen in Brooklyn. Didn't happen in Hoboken. You know what I mean? But anyway, the workers were drilling a sewage drain in an Egyptian city when they unearthed a 2,200-year-old temple from the era of King uh, Ptolemy the Fourth. Archaeologists found walls decorated with carvings of the Egyptian, Egyptian fertility god, Hopi, which seems like a... Huh. There you have it, people. Um, this is pretty cool. Remember I said it didn't happen in Hoboken? Well, right out of Hoboken. Nah, I'm kidding about the Hoboken thing, but this did happen closer to home. It is, it is home. This happened in Michigan. Listen to this. A Michigan farmer uh, was trying to install a water pipe. I wonder if that was legal. Uh, was trying to install a water pipe uh, found woolly mammoth bones. The bones of a woolly mammoth. Uh, James Bristol uh, was mid-construction when his digger hit something hard. He didn't give up, though. Uh, actually, he did. Turned out to be a uh, near-complete mammoth skeleton from 11,700 to 15,000 years ago. Cut a tusk off. It is what it is. 15,000 years old. They think the creature was probably killed and uh, uh, possibly killed and definitely butchered by early humans. You know what's really funny? Think about that. You didn't. You couldn't freeze it, right? I mean, you did it in wintertime. You could, like, leave it in the snow for a while, but you had to eat fast. You know? And if you got a woolly mammoth, right, you get everybody in the neighborhood, you, you know, This is a pretty good one. Uh, a couple renovating their house found a cache of Van Gogh's papers stashed under the floorboards. A couple bought the dilapidated London home in 2012. Imagine that, 2012. That's like, come on. It's like yesterday, practically. Uh, in the process of fixing it up, they stumbled across the Dutch painter's discarded insurance documents, a prayer book, and several scraps of paper painted with watercolored flowers. Huh. Isn't that interesting? Van Gogh kept a prayer book. 
Who knew? I'm going to stop there. I wonder. I'll see. One, two. Ah, we'll go do a few more. See, here's another one that's just, yeah. A Turkish man remodeling his home found in underground city. A man in the uh, Cappadocia region knocked down a wall in his basement. Who knocks down a wall? Who has walls in a basement you can knock down? Anyway, he knocked down a wall in his basement only to discover a secret passageway to the ancient city of Derinkuyu. A multi-level co complex was used as protection during the Byzantine era, not as a man cave. But boy, he turned it into a man cave. Can you imagine that? Whew. Uh, two more, I think it will stop. Um, sure, this is interesting. A Chinese boy looking for a nutcracker found a dinosaur nest. Yep. Uh, Ten-year-old uh, Zhang Yangzi was wandering around near the Dang River. Sorry, that's the Dong River. Uh, the Dong River, just for those who are, you know, uh, trying to find something hard enough to crack open a walnut, all right? He stumbled upon a fossilized egg that was six, uh, 66 million years old by a Cretaceous era dinosaur. Isn't that interesting? This is, that's, this is the uh, nest of eggs. There's a whole bunch of them. Just a whole bunch of eggs all together. And this is the last one, and we're going to stop it. Or maybe we won't read this one. <laughs> that one's a visual. I'm going to skip it and go to the next one. Sure, we'll read this as the last one. Check your garage, check under the floorboards, if nothing else. You know, garage, barn finds, guitar cases. Listen to this. A New York woman found a million dollar painting in her gar in the garbage, in the garbage. Elizabeth Gibson was out for a walk in Manhattan in 20, uh, 2003 when she spotted a brightly colored painting in the garbage. Caught her eye, so she grabbed it. Four years later, she found out the painting was Très Personales, Personales by Rufino Tamayo. It's three personalities. Uh, which had been stolen in 1987. Sotheby's later sold it for a million dollars. And that, I suppose it's a visual as well, but that one, there's the painting. Found in a, in a garbage dump. Not in a garbage dump. In a garbage. Anyhow, that was a great sauce. I like that sauce. I'm going to eat it on lunch today. You guys are awesome. I hope you have a great day. Tell somebody you love them, okay? Um, make today special. In the description box, you're going to see a link for all of the normal stuff right there. Is my son, Johnny Scoville Jr. Right there is a light book right there. All the challenges I've done since I started this thing. Right there is pepperology. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville and this, this was Chase the Heat.